appears to be that the spot that we were trying to record our video for today is currently being blocked off from new pavement. So we gotta find a new spot. Mm, yeah, we gotta find a new spot. Boys, I think we have just found out our brand new spot. So let's get out of here and let's check it out. And it, oh my gosh, this, this place is amazing. Never had the car down here, so it looks kind of cool. Definitely don't get some cool videos of this. So now that we have finally gotten to our spot that we're going to talk about this video, um, I've heard that some of you guys have gotten into some S197s and are asking what what I've done to the car, what are all the parts and uh, pieces I've used to modify the car, and uh, what I think is best. So I'm going to go into that just so it helps you guys out. Uh, I know looking for car parts can be very, very, very difficult at times, so. I'm going to make this as easy as I can on you guys, and if you guys are looking for anything that's, that looks like this, uh, then I guess this is the video for you, but we're going to hop straight in with the first thing is wheels. Now when it comes to wheels, there are multiple, multiple, multiple different options. Many options that I, I personally even know. Um, you find new wheels every single day, so the options are, are endless, and whenever you guys do get a set of wheels, you guys will fall in love with them. I promise you guys will fall in love with them for it could be a long time maybe a short time but i don't know mine my i love and hate them at the same time now, i know shopping for wheels can be very 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 difficult when it comes to the offset the sizes the diameter everything can be so so difficult finding a good set of wheels so on the fronts i from the front from the fronts to the rear there are honestly two different wheels they're both four star f14s uh, and they're both gloss black uh, from the fronts and the rears. They are the same wheel, same company, everything. But the front is semi-concave and the rear is semi-concave. And if, if, for the, those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, deep concave is when it goes into the wheel base a little bit more. And as you can see right here on the fitment, it tucks in to the center of the wheel more on the rear than it is on in the front because it just it doesn't tuck in as hard so the only reason why i did that i think it gives the rear end more of an aggressive stance to when it comes to the, uh, to the when it comes to fitment just i feel like it gives it more of a aggressive stance when it gets deeper in the rear and it's not as deep in the front so fronts right now i am running semi-concave four star f14s in gloss black and the sizes are 20 by nine and a half and i believe the offset is i I want to say I want to say 24 millimeters offset it comes to the rear I do have 20 by 10 and a half in the in the rear and they are deep concave four star f14s in gloss black and these are offset by 46 millimeters so after you guys get the hard part out of the way of getting the wheels now you guys have to find tires and I know tires can be a very big hassle because you guys need to know there's three different there's three different numbers you guys got the to be honest, I don't even know what the first tire. I don't even know what the numbers are for. But you, there's so many. You guys gotta find this the exact width. You guys can go, if you guys are going for bags, if you guys are staying static, if you guys are going for power, for anything. Like the, the tires are what makes the car. That the tires are what make the car in general. That's all. That's literally exactly. You guys gotta get that almost perfectly to have a, a perfect running car. I know I'm kind of looking like an odd, with an, like an oddball on here because I do have a different front tire than I do in the rear tire. The rear tires I have Toyota R triple eight R's and they are 305. They got they are three they are 305. Wait. Yeah. 305 35ZR20s and in the front I got the Nitto uh triple five G twos and these are I believe I, to be honest guys I don't really remember what these ones are. These ones are 255 35ZR20s. So yes Nitto and two triple five G twos in the front and toy r triple eight r's in there now when it comes to why it's like that why i have them set up like that um there's not a real reason i just got a good deal on the r triple eight r's and i've always wanted to try them out because i know they grip really 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 well and honestly guys i've fallen in love with them i couldn't find anything for the front so that's why we're staying with the r triple or with the uh little uh triple five g2s but the the fronts handle really well in the corners and in the rain when these are kind of good for straight lines so if, I don't I feel like I have a little bit more control I don't know I just might sound stupid but it works and I'm loving that setup so far that's probably the setup that I'm probably gonna last for 
forever on this car. Guys, I have had my fair share of wheel searching and wheel searching and wheel searching. I promise you guys, it is not fun. It's fun to look at the cool different wheels, but it's not fun to get down to the numbers because it makes absolutely no sense. But there are several different companies and several different people that are out there that are professionals and they know exactly how to hook you guys up with your guys' car. But with my experience, with my experience, I did not buy these wheels for this car. I bought these wheels for my old Mustang. If you guys are OGs and you guys watched my very first video, I had a 2005 all black V6 Mustang. And these ones, these wheels, these four star F14s were on my 2005 V6 Mustang. But whenever I bought this car, I love those wheels so much that I had to just put them on. And I knew already from the start, it was gonna be perfect, perfect fit. For those of you that aren't familiar with S197s, they are on stock ride height. This, you can't really see it that well, but you guys at the same time, you can. And it just looks so horrible compared to this. This is perfect, horrible. Perfect, horrible. Perfect, now horrible. But we're staying with perfect. The wheels out of the way. The second thing that is crucial to this car that I just love ever since I put it on is the grills. I love the upper and lower grill delete. And they are the GT500. Uh, upper and lower grill elites from American Muscle. I believe these are Cervini's upper and lower grill elites. You guys need them. They're each right around 300 bucks, so they're not too expensive, but they're not. They they help the front end out so 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 much more. It makes it look so aggressive. Now I know some of you guys are probably just sitting there like, oh, honey, why are you just buy the GT500 bumper? Well, guys, again, that's two thousand dollars, or you have to go out and search for all different parts. And guess what, guys? I'm broke. I can't afford that right now maybe one day we will get a gt500 bumper but as of right now probably no the only reason why i did end up choosing these upper and lower grill elites is just because the look of them kind of and it lets a lot more air into the engine bay so it kind of keeps everything a little bit more cool besides that stupid honeycomb with the with the big uh, fog lights in i just think it looks so much better with the grill elites and i don't know just from side angles and everything just it makes it look so much so much more aggressive in the front end third thing that is definitely done is the most noticeable thing on the entire car is probably the headlights i get questions constantly about these headlights and honestly guys I, everyone tells me that they don't believe me but you guys just gotta do some research i promise you guys these are stock headlights i promise you these are 100 percent stock headlights Beside, well, I guess I'm going to throw you guys off for a minute. They are stock headlights, but they're built. If you guys have a 13 or 14 style headlight, you guys can ship these headlights out and get them built to this exact same spec. Mine are personally built by uh, PS, uh, yeah, PS underscore lighting underscore solutions. You guys can look them up on Instagram. I'll put his uh, Instagram down below. He did an amazing, amazing job on them. Uh, I did have some problems with it collecting moisture, but that was kind of my fault. Uh, I wasn't following the right and i just didn't put the cap back on i guess but it was i was getting some moisture uh, put into that light but now it's all fixed so i don't have any of those problems no more and they look absolutely amazing now you guys can end up optioning out of this halo um i honestly like now that i have them i would personally not do the halo just because it looks cleaner without the halo like inside because it just kind of looks like a mess and doesn't look as direct as aggressive but at the same time it still does but i love them either way and they are great 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 headlights for those of you who have never seen this headlight or are brand new to the channel by the way if you guys are new to the channel do me a favor hit that subscribe button guys we are on our way we are on the road to 500 subs so make sure you just drop a drop a, drop a link down below and subscribe for more content because you guys know every single video we post is another banger video but like i was saying if you guys have never seen these headlights before you guys don't have to wire them to a switch but the problem that i did have if i did wire if i did not wire them to a switch they always stay on and they will immediately kill your battery overnight if you leave them on unless you unplug them from the battery but uh so what i did was i wired them through and you guys can see a little bit of the wire right over there they're wired through they're inside the, uh, the is an engine compartment right there. We're basically hidden inside this vent. And underneath, down here, there's a switch that I wired in right there. So when you just flip that on, the, the lights turn on, and then everything is Bluetooth controlled straight from your phone. So as of right now, they all, whenever you turn them on, they do turn white, and then just go into your phone. 
then go to the Morimoto app. And then from here, just in, as of, since it just connected, they just turned them on. And now they are blue with the white. But you guys have the, so many options to go through and you can go to themes. You can change a whole bunch of, if you just wanted to do shows, you just click this. And now they're going to start strobing and basically having a seizure. So, um, yeah, so that's not the setting that we usually change. But this is what I was talking about when, if you guys don't have them wired to a switch, uh, you guys turn them off. And then now they are just white DRLs and it doesn't. They just won't turn off unless you guys have a switch to turn the actual controller off. While we're on the topic of lighting, we're just going to do, go do all the lights on the sides. We do have the axial uh, side marker lights. Obviously, you guys want to get rid of them because they are the stock ones are just orange and bright red in the rear, and they just throw off the entire look of the car. You guys want something that's dark or even color match the car. Like back here, guys, it kind of looks color match. I can't even lie, but everybody knows what these are everybody knows what they do and everyone loves them you turn these on and then instead of having that one singular bulb in the middle that just shines the entire way now you guys just have this fine dotted line it was a fine led line just shining straight through it and it just looks so 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 much more cleaner and if you guys do not have these already on your s197 these are dirt cheap they're like a hundred bucks and I highly, highly, highly advise you guys to go pick you guys up some. Going on to the back, guys. You guys already know that we had to change these out and get the Euros in. The stock ones, instead of having the white Euro piece, it's just a red Euro. Uh, not not even Euro, it's just a red uh, square around it. And it just looks, it looks good, don't get me wrong. It looks good, and they are very, very, very nice. But in my eyes, the Euros will always be the way to go on any lighting choice. Now, the only reason why I did these is because of the third brake light. Back when I first bought the car, I was learning a little bit about lighting and I thought this one look, would look really good with the sterling gray. And ever since I got it, the stock taillights, I knew as soon as I got it, the stock taillights needed to go and be replaced with Euros to match the third brake light and complete the front end. Enough with the lighting, enough with the lighting. Look at this building, guys. It's a basket and it's like, it's like 400 times my size. It's so cool. Can you imagine the shot I could get from all the way up there of the car? Talk about going TikTok famous. That would immediately make me a TikTok famous. Now, while we're already out at the rear end of the car, we're going to start from the top going down. The top, obviously, we have to get the GT500 wing because, you know, it's an S197. Every S197 owner gets a GT500 wing. They just look the best. And out of all the wings you can choose from, why wouldn't you go with a GT500? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hating, guys. I'm not hating. I'm not hating. I'm not hating. But in my eyes, with my, with my specific standards, that's what I should say. This wing definitely looks the best. Then obviously going down from the wing, you guys gotta get the shave deckly because nobody wants that stupid, ugly gas cap badge right here that pokes out three inches away from the deck lid and that just says GT in bright front. Nobody wants that. Nobody needs that. The shaved deck lid just matches the entire top end of the car and makes it literally minty. Minty. So if you guys don't have a shaved deck lid on your 13 or 14 Mustang GT or Mustang V6 or anything, just get a shaved deck lid. They're honestly cheap, guys. I think I got this one for 250 bucks. I think that's actually how they all go, but they are very, very, very much worth it. And all these mods that I'm telling you guys so far that, that I have showed you guys are so, so, so easy to put on. And you guys can do them in seconds. All, now, going all the way down to the ground effect, we did have to get our diffuser. I don't really remember what this diffuser is called, but I did get it from diffusers and more. It is not, uh, it's not Street Arrow. It is not them. I did not actually like those uh, diffusers because I think I thought for the S197 they were too aggressive. Um, so I decided to go to, I heard about this company called Diffusers and more, and they are down to earth people there, got my package out, they actually make it to your order, and they make it from the color, from the color that you want, and they will tell you and message you while they're making it, and they had mine out in three days, guys, completely made it and everything, they had it in three days, painted, everything, so, they're really down to earth people, they're really forgiving people too, I know, in mine, I wanted matte black, and they accidentally shipped me out gloss black, and they were offering to remake it, 
and ship me a second one Matt Black. But just being that kind, guys, being great, great, great people to deal with, I just decided that I wanted the gloss black because I thought it, it, it would look a little bit better, especially with the gloss black wheels, the gloss black duck lid, the gloss black uh, housing on the taillights, the headlights, because there's a lot of gloss black pieces on my car, so I thought this one would actually make sense after it was after the mess up happened, but great company, guys, great people to work with. This is not a paid product displacement at all, so don't even think that. I wish it was, but it's not, so diffuse for more if you guys are home, hit me up. Um, yes, you guys, this is by far, I think it is the most aggressive looking that matches, at least that matches the rear end and just stands out and looks the best. Yeah, after we got the diffuser, they came with their little side scrub pieces. I still have not figured out what these are called and I've had this for almost a year, guys. I've almost had this side skirt, this diffuser for almost a year and I still have not figured out what these little, what these side pieces are called. So if you guys know what it's called, comment that down below because I would, that would be much appreciated. But knowing that we had that we also had to get the side skirt for the side obviously but these ones i got them off of american muscle and they are very 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 easy to install guys you guys have no problem i did a little bit of extra security i just put a piece of 3m down the side as well as the pins um but these are the cdc textured black uh side skirts, i believe i don't really know what they're called but i know they were right around 200 bucks Again, guys, some of these parts are, like, cheap. They're, they were really, 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 really cheap. And if they're not cheap, you guys, guys, auto parts stores have, they go on sale all the time. So you just got to constantly be looking around. Don't don't look at one store. Look at multiple stores because every store, they can have the same piece for cheaper, and it could be on sale for way cheaper. So you just got to keep your eyes open, keep your eyes peeled on all the other stores. There's, I promise you guys there's more than one store than American Muscle. You got the whole rear end done besides a little something, something. Now, you just wait, just wait, just wait. Don't step ahead, guys. Don't step ahead. But we also we definitely have to go into the interior and show you guys exactly what's going on in here. Right here, this is my Dyna Performance uh, carbon fiber steering wheel. It does have the flat bottom, and it does have the matching blue accent to match my calipers that I did end up painting a while back back when I first got the car. It took maybe about three days. This is Grabber Blue, if you guys don't know. Uh, if you guys don't know what uh, the color is, it is grabber blue. So if you guys are liking, if you guys do have a sterling gray and you guys like the way mine's set up, obviously this color is grabber blue and it looks perfect. So I got it on the, I got it on the badge from the 5.0, and then uh, you guys also got it on my stickers. Upset. I also, I'm also honestly, I don't know how I feel about the stickers anymore. Like I know it looks cool, but at the same time. I feel like it looks kind of goofy, like should I, should I keep them on there? Am I being cringy if I keep them on there? Or should I get them off? But anyways guys, back to the interior. This is our Dyna Performance uh, carbon fiber steering wheel. And then also over here, we got our Dyna Performance carbon fiber shift knob. Uh, to be honest, it couldn't, it maybe is not Dyna Performance at all. I bought it from a guy off Facebook Marketplace and it actually, it's, it's real carbon fiber. I didn't believe him at first, but it's real carbon fiber, guys, and he said it was from Dyna Performance. So that's where I got it, and I've honestly, have no, I've never had a problem with it. I love it way more than the stock uh, shift knob, and whenever I end up getting the whole entire dash carbon fiber, it'll be so cool to see all the carbon fiber matching all the way through the dash down the center console. And now that brings us to our third thing that makes carbon fiber look so good at night is this. My, my 460 uh, star unit, starlight headlight, starlight headliner uh, that I installed maybe maybe about a year ago. Um, you guys can change the colors on it. And honestly, was not hard at all, guys. And if you guys are looking at your starlight headliner, just do it yourself. Do it yourself. I promise you guys, it's not nearly as bad as everyone says it is. Yes, it does take time, but it is way worth it to do yourself than have someone than pay someone twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars to do these because it is so easy. All you guys have to do is take this pillar off, that pillar off, and on the Mustang, after you guys take these pillars off, this whole liner comes straight down, and you have to bring it out uh, sideways, out the uh, driver or passenger or either one, and then. After you guys drill all these holes and put them in, hot glue them up. There's down here what I did with my box. You guys have a box, maybe about 
He does have a box maybe about this big that he does have to put, that he does have to hide it somewhere, he does have to wire it through. So what I did was over here, I put all the strands down by the seatbelt and all, the box is actually in this compartment right here. There is a piece of foam there that is the same exact size of the box. And I took that piece of foam out and put the box there and I've never had a problem with it disconnecting or anything. And the wiring, so on these star headliners, the wiring is very short, so you guys gotta place it, you guys gotta be picking on where you place it to make sure you guys can plug it in and make sure it gets powered completely all the way through. So what I did on mine was underneath the rear seat, I just tucked it underneath here and it runs straight through here and comes up to the bottom and plugs into the cigarette lighter down here. And that powers it all. And there is a remote to it. You guys can have an app to it. I unfortunately am too stupid to realize that there was an app for it until after I got it all. And I'm not taking it all apart just to get an app. Um, so I ended up I'm just staying with the remote and you guys can change the remote to so many different colors and settings because obviously with the accents all over the car I have to go with blue but you guys can change it to whatever you guys want you guys can go red well maybe well yeah anyways you guys can go with red green blue yellow any any color you guys desire or you guys need me to have it flash and the cool thing about this is there's a noise there's a music setting right here where it says music you guys can turn it on and mine actually plays the sound car so the the the, the louder the car gets or like if i'm doing a pull the brighter the lights will get and it's so cool to play around with i'll have to show you guys sometime but it is so 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 cool the thing that i do love about the starlight headliner is this is the carbon fiber so at night it does glisten all the carbon fiber and it makes it kind of look like you have blue carbon fiber shining at you through the night so it just kind of looks cool and I am completely, I almost dropped you guys for a second there. Oh my gosh. I almost dropped you guys and I would have cried. So, like I said guys, the carbon fiber steering wheel from Dino Performance, Dino Performance shift knob, and then the star headliner. So you guys can actually get those fairly cheap or right off Amazon for maybe like a hundred bucks. Instead of paying, like, like I said guys, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars for someone else to do it, do it yourself. I promise you guys, it takes, it takes just a little bit of time and effort. But once you guys do it, you guys got it and it looks you guys will never turn your guys' heads backwards on it guys so i know i know i know i'm not going to keep you guys no more i know you guys want to hear the exhaust more than anything this is a warm startup on a 2014 mustang gt with corsa extremes <laughs> Wicked lion, so like obviously on the YouTube what I be you guys, I gotta give you guys some baby reps for you. It just sounds so 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 good. It just sounds so good, but obviously we got there's people here, so we're gonna shut her down before we get kicked out of here. But as you guys tell, she sounded so so crazy. By far one of the craziest sounding uh, coyotes I've ever heard it but I mean personally that, that could just be bias but it just sounds so so good especially knowing that I put in the work and I put I did all this just to get that noise and it just sounds so good and it's so much better than a gin than just a uh, it's so much better than a stock coyote coyote mustard with a stock exhaust so if you guys do have a coyote mustang at all you guys have definitely 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 got to get some corset streams on this thing and maybe even some long tube headers to make it sound as wicked as that other than that that's really kind of all that's that's done to the car currently besides underneath the hood uh underneath the hood it is just a jlt uh series 2 intake and i believe that's it um as of right now there's i don't have injectors I don't have a manifold and I don't have a throttle body yet, but that those will be coming soon guys. Like I said in the last couple of videos, E85 will be going on this car very, 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 very soon. So just hang tight with me and we'll get there guys. And after we get there, I promise you guys, 
flames from earlier in the other videos will be so much bigger when we hit 85 and I cannot wait to show you guys the new flames. I can't believe I almost forgot about this but the most important part after you guys get some wheels and tires you guys obviously have to lower the car to get that perfect fitment to make it actually stand out. So obviously guys the car was lowered, it's lowered by 2 inches in the, in the rear and 1.6 inches in the front by SR Performance lowering springs. Uh, the I don't, I, so far I haven't witnessed any uh, troubles with me needing to get shocks or struts. I am on stock shocks, shocks and struts. So if you guys think you guys have to get new shocks and struts, you guys don't need to. It's probably recommended, but I probably should anyways. But that, uh, for suspension wise, that's all I have is just lowering. And then on the rear, I do have BMR's uh, lower control arms, and I do have BMR's adjustable panorama bar. And if you guys do not know what a panorama bar does, it whenever you guys lower an S197, just because it has that straight axle. You guys do want to make sure whenever it lowers, it'll shift. It'll shift to one way. So this, let's just say this tire, this wheel will poke in, and then this tire, this wheel will poke out, and it'll just look weird. So you guys will need an adjustable panel bar to kind of correct it and shift it back. And then whenever it comes to the lower control arms, obviously the uh, I got BMR, I got BMR lower and upper control arms. On all, on all four corners just because it helps with that wheel hop and it helps with that uh, turning like not I can't say turning radius but like traction on turning and it helps with the cornering a lot and it is definitely 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 a night and day difference so if you guys go with BMR I've never used any other company by BMR that's because I've never had I've never had such a great experience from a suspension company expect That boy was hauling! So you guys, I don't recommend doing lowering springs without shocks and struts because these struts and shocks, they are not meant for lowering springs and they are not meant to handle that handle like that. So by all means, if you guys do suspension, do it right. Don't be don't be like a dumb don't be a dumbass like me. So just just do it right the first time you guys will have, honestly with new shocks and struts that are meant for those springs, I bet you guys would be handling twice as better as my car. My handle my car handles just perfectly it's my opinion but i bet you guys wish new shocks and struts you guys will handle even better than this car well guys that is actually it on this car like i said there is a G jlt intake underneath that that that's really nothing under there it's just the car is full bolt on it is not on e85 we don't have injectors we don't have manifold so it's not completely full bolt on yet but we will be there very 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 soon so just hang tight with me guys and if you guys did like this video just as much as i enjoyed making it drop a subscribe drop a comment drop a like it helps me out very much and it makes me know it makes me feel like you guys are actually enjoying the content that i am making so if you guys do like this just hang with me we're a family i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one peace i'm trying to get some cool shots of the car the car is literally right over there and i'm trying to walk against this so i'm trying not to die but at the same time i'm trying to be fast oh i almost fell off okay well Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Oh, oh no. You guys need some electrical tape? That looks so good.